This is a polyester jacket that we did with our partner Lululemon, which was on sale earlier this year and has since sold out, which we're pretty excited by. So what's special about this jacket is it's, it's made of enzymatically recycled polyester. And after this jacket has reached the end of its lifetime, we can take it and put it back through our enzyme recycling process and make a bottle or a new jacket all over again, even though it has colors in it as well, which is quite important. So welcome to the R&D lab for Samsara Eco based here at the ANU. So in Samsara's process, we take post-industrial and post-consumer waste, like these chipped plastic bottles here and this fabric and carpet fibers, and we put it through our enzymatic process, which breaks down the polymer into the core chemical building blocks that plastics are made of, otherwise known as monomers. And so this is a small scale enzyme reactor that we use to do R&D at the bench scale. So this is our chemical reactor. It facilitates the first part of our process that converts solid plastic waste into a form of plastic that's more enzymatically accessible. Vanessa, who's the other co-founder of Samsara Eco and I, were working on plastic degrading enzymes as part of our PhD work uh, and studying both how they evolved and how you can then engineer plastic degrading enzymes to be more industrially useful. So using our process for polyester and nylon 6.6, um, we've been able to produce uh, garments and threads. So some of these are our world first enzymatically recycled nylon 6.6 threads. And so once you get down to these monomers, um, the plastic is no longer identifiable as waste. This is simply a pure raw material identical to what we have to extract from fossil fuels today. The production of plastic currently contributes to over 3% of global greenhouse gas emissions. And so our thinking has always been that in order to tackle the climate crisis, you have to address the plastic waste crisis too. Probably the most incredible experiences at Samsara for me personally has been seeing you know, this technology grow from something that we study in microgram scales to now talking about thousands of tons and seeing that progression of, you know, something that is a scientific concept to something that is now producing commercial products that you are able to buy. I think the most fun part for me has been um, being able to watch the technology grow from being a one mil experiment at the bench scale um, to now being uh, something that we're scaling towards commercial scale that will really have an impact. 